Hi there. In this video, I'll be looking at the Hue HD Pro document camera. It certainly has a fun design, but is it fun to use? Let's find out. I like the look of the Hue HD Pro, and on paper, it looks like a great deal, since it includes both a microphone and lights. It comes in four possible colours, red, black, green and blue, and as you can see, I have the black one here. Inside the box, you'll find the HD Pro itself, with the camera on one end of the flexible neck, and a USB-A connector on the other. You'll also find the base, and underneath that plastic insert, a USB-A to USB mini cable. The user guide's pretty comprehensive as well, with instructions on setting up the HD Pro, as well as the Hue Intuition app. More on that later. Because it has a USB-A connector at one end, you could plug it directly into your computer like this, without even using the base, and it'll work just fine. Alternatively, and I'm sure this is how 99% of people will use it, you can plug the HD Pro into the base and then use the cable to connect to your computer. The base has a good weight to it, which makes it nice and stable and a power indicator to show that everything's hooked up right. Here are some of the features that you'll find in the Hue HD Pro. As I said before, it's nice to see a built-in microphone and this is it here below the lens. There are also four built-in LEDs to help illuminate your subject, switched on using the touch-sensitive control on top. Focusing is done manually by turning the focusing ring here. What about the all-important technical details? The resolution is the lowest of the visualizers I've looked at so far at one megapixel. This means it can output images up to 1280 by 720. Keep an eye on the images in the next section to see if they'd be good enough for your application. The minimum focus distance is by far the lowest that I've seen, so you'll be able to get very close to your subject. It can output up to 30 frames per second and allows you to capture a full A4 sheet of paper. Its weight is quoted as 562 grams when packed, but it's closer to 400 grams when out of the box. Finally, it'll set you back about 65 pounds. But how does it perform? Before using the HD Pro with Hue's Intuition app, I wanted to see its capabilities as a plug and play visualizer. Here's the image I got when using it with the camera app on PC. Unlike the iPivo DuCam or OkioCam S, there's no button to flip the image 180 degrees. So you'll have to move your camera head instead, like so. Once that's done and you've manually adjusted the focus, the image looks pretty decent. You can see the camera constantly adjusting exposure here as my hand blocks the bright light from the window on my right. Despite the HD Pro having the lowest resolution of the visualizers I've tested, the image looks clear enough to be used both in class or online. With a minimum focus distance of only one centimeter, much shorter than any of the other visualizers I've tested, I was able to get in very close to this Arduino nano board, which opens up the possibility of using the HD Pro as a low magnification microscope. Next up, I installed Hue's Intuition app on the laptop and gave it a whirl. If you've set up the HD Pro like this and want to get the image the right way up, then you can do it in software this time. Just select document camera and flip the image both horizontally and vertically. With the app, you can record video and take snapshots, play back your recording and save or share it, scan documents or use the HD Pro as a document camera or visualizer, where you can add annotations such as simple shapes and text. The app is, as the title implies, intuitive enough, but the tabs on the right hand side and menu items take up a large portion of the screen. And if these were made smaller, more of the screen would be available for the HD Pro's output, which is what you really want to see. It is possible to view the image full screen, but then you lose the tools which let you add annotations. There's also the option to take still images automatically, and you can set where snapshots and videos are saved, as well as the file type for your snapshots. Let's see what videos look like then using the Intuition app. Right, this is a quick test recording with the Hue HD Pro and of course, interesting to see how it works with the built-in microphone. And let's see, I do my own, my old favorite, and that is of course, an Ohm's law question where I say the voltage across the resistor is 10 volts and the current in the resistor is two amps. The only reason I do this is because I've got very, very little uh, imagination. So one thing that did surprise me was the sound, which is better than I actually expected, given the price of the HD Pro. With only about 5 frames per second video, I wouldn't be in a rush to use the recording in a YouTube video though. Confident that the HD Pro was capable of more, I tried it with the OBS app on an iMac. This allowed me to flip the image and, if I wanted to, I could stream direct to YouTube. 
see what you think of this video. Right, this is me using the Hue HD Pro with OBS on a Mac. So let's see how it works. So we'll say test of Hue HD Pro with it is an iMac. So the Hue HD Pro is a nice little visualizer, especially given its price. Despite its relatively low resolution, the images output from it are good enough for the majority of users. There's still a bit of work to do in the Intuition app, at least in my opinion, but the HD Pro works well straight out of the box with third-party software and benefits from having both a built-in microphone and those LED lights. The lack of autofocus wasn't a problem either, since once the manual focus is set, you'll not have any issues with camera focus hunting, as I've seen on some visualizers. The short focus distance also means that the HD Pro could double up as a low magnification microscope, as I demonstrated earlier. If you found this video useful, then you'll maybe want to give it a thumbs up. Then again, maybe you won't. The choice is yours. See you next time.